Neil Cavuto did a rant on his show yesterday about Obamacare, and it's from so deep in the right-wing bubble that it's jaw-dropping how little sense it makes. Listen. Welcome, everybody. I'm Neil Cavuto, and you wonder why I say Republicans are in trouble. This just might prove it, no matter what John Boehner says about it, says he is not caving. It's just a stupid critic's whining. Now, don't believe it. This health care thing that uh, they were all about killing, now they're all about fixing. It's true. After prodding by business groups, House Republicans have indeed quietly gone along with a health care law change that expands coverage choices for small businesses. The thinking behind this unusual voice vote, without debate, I might add, is that it makes the best of a bad situation. What one Republican likened to squeezing lemonade out of legislative lemons. Small businesses were complaining about their limited options in the Affordable Care Act, so this affords them more options on that coverage and exactly who gets covered. Republicans tell the Associated Press, David Espo, that also buys the party time, that it, quote, reflects a calculation that no matter how hard the party tries, the earliest the law can be repealed is after Obama leaves office in 2017. Maybe so, but making a bad law more pleasant in the meantime doesn't make it any easier for you to repeal it any time. And it doesn't make it any less a bad law and one that should be ripped from its roots, not given more time to take root. Boehner and some Republicans actually insist they got the better of Democrats on this by allowing businesses to offer high deductible plans that could be purchased by individuals who have these health savings accounts. It's a win-win-win for those businesses, their employees, and Republicans hope their party. Now, I'm not so sure. Not when Harry Reid is celebrating all of this. And my rule of thumb is when Harry Reid is happy about something, I'm not. Now, I know Republicans feel they're trying to make the best of a bad situation and a bad law. But this makes killing that law that much harder and their political distinction from Democrats that much harder to define. As I see it, Republicans are without definition, without clarity, and without a message they can run on, saving running out the clock and hoping these games help run up huge wins later this year. Don't count on it. I've said it so many times. If your only thing is about killing Obamacare and the latest thing you do is keeping Obamacare alive, you Republicans are already dead. Do you understand what he's saying there? He's arguing that the Republicans like Obamacare too much. He's saying that Republicans fight too much for Obamacare. And that they're too liberal, and that's the problem. And he's like, well, look, man, if Republicans just oppose Obamacare, then they'd win elections. They're just fighting too much for it. I mean, they love it. Yeah, right, that's the problem. And totally, the, the American people are on your side, man. Uh, that's, that's their main concern. Just repeal this law, goddammit. Why have I gotten health care for cheaper? <laughs> this is such a nuisance. I mean, it, that's so deep in the right-wing bubble that it makes the establishment Republicans look reasonable, which is like mission impossible. But let me give you some, some details here. I want to give you some poll numbers so you see just how crazy this is. According to the Kaiser Family Foundation, Morning Consult, and Reuters Ipsos, 61% of the American people favored allowing young adults to stay on their parents' insurance plans until the age of 26 a main Obamacare provision. 72% of respondents uh, wish to maintain the requirement that companies with more than 50 workers provide health insurance for their employers, for their employees, I'm sorry, another main provision of Obamacare. 82% of the American people favored banning insurance companies from denying coverage to people with pre-existing conditions. Of course, that is one of the best and most popular provisions of the law. Uh, how about the tax credits to small... Businesses provision, 88% like it. How about the exchanges, the heart of the bill, 80% like it. How about the Medicaid expansion, 71% like it. So when you break down the law, the Affordable Care Act, or as they call it, Obamacare, provision by provision, for most provisions, the American people love the law. But there, Neil Cavuto is arrogantly saying, like, well, obviously, if you just oppose the law then the American people will vote for you, and then you'll win the election. Duh! Again, that's so, so deep in the right-wing bubble. Like, he's not... 
is just a, he's on a different planet, man. That's just on a different planet. Furthermore, how about if we get specifically to what he's calling for? He, he said in the middle of that rant, we'll just repeal the law. That's what, I mean, eventually we're going to need to repeal the law. That's what the American people want, uh, even though they don't. That's uh, what uh, the right thing to do is. How many people agree with him? 30% of the American people say, yeah, repeal the law. That's it. 30%. They don't agree with you. Or how about, you know, the Ted Cruz option? The defund or delay option? Well, there's got to be a lot more people that want that, right? Because we're told from Fox News all the time, they just don't like Obamacare. 7% of the American people say, yeah, defund or delay. They're just not that into you. The American people don't agree with you, Neil Cavuto. And then uh, the final thing I'll say here, man, the, the elephant in the room, the fact that it, he just completely glosses over there. On March 5th, Republicans tried their 50th repeal attempt for Obamacare. So for you to argue, well, the, obviously the problem with the Republicans is that they're not fighting Obamacare hard enough. It just requires such a high level of ignorance that you probably belong in the Guinness Book of World Records for ignorance.